Hello, and welcome to the video about Pictometry's Connect Admin, creating and managing organizations and users. In this video, we will discuss the relationship between organizations and sub-organizations, how to set up these groups, and how to create and manage users within our new Connect Admin interface. For information on how to upload and configure GIS information, please watch the video entitled Connect Admin, Uploading, Configuring, and Managing GIS Data. The initial Connect organization created by Pictometry is called the Parent Organization. Administrators within the Parent Organization are called Parent Administrators. These designated individuals have the ability to create organizations, users, and manage GIS data. A parent administrator can create multiple sub-organizations beneath them, allowing users to be grouped in a variety of ways. Some common examples are by department, by entity, or by municipality. The parent administrator can upload GIS data, such as a road or parcel layer, to the parent organization. They can then publish that data to any or all sub-organizations beneath them, thereby making that data available to any or all sub-organizations. An administrator can then subscribe to that data on behalf of the sub-organizations, making it visible to all of the sub-organizations users. The parent administrator can also upload GIS data directly to a sub-organization, making the layer visible to that group only. This may be ideal if there are layers that are applicable for one particular group or for layers containing sensitive information meant only to be seen by certain departments. Additionally, a sub-organization administrator can be created who can manage users and the GIS data for that particular sub-org. If a parent administrator chooses to have a sub-organization administrator with GIS management permissions, the Enable GIS Configuration option must be selected. This video focuses on the administrative functions of a parent administrator. Administrators can log in to Connect Admin on the Pictometry Online login page by clicking Administration or from the Pictometry Online interface once logged in. Along the top of the page is the Administration menu, where administrators can select the category of a function that they want to perform. A drop-down menu will appear with a variety of options. Once an option is selected, that function's properties will display in the center of the page. On the left side of the page lists the organizations within your account. The parent organization will always be listed at the top with any sub-organizations listed below. The administrator's username appears in the upper right-hand corner, and beside it lies a pull-down menu for help, feedback, and logging out. Upon initial login to the administration page, a summary of the selected organization is displayed. The summary displays the organization name, the organization ID, inactivity threshold, expiration date of the Connect account, and a handful of user information. The inactivity threshold is the number of minutes a user can remain logged in when not actively using the interface. After that time has expired, a user will have to log in again. The expiration date shows the date when the Connect account will expire. Maximum users is defined by the number of users that can be created for the selected organization while concurrent users is the number of users that can be logged in at the same time. Active users indicates the total number of users created for that organization, while logged in users displays the number of users currently logged into Pictometry Connect. At any time, the administrator can view an organization summary or property page by clicking on Organization from the administrative menu and then selecting the appropriate option. To create a sub-organization, select Organization from the Administration menu and then click Create New Sub-Organization. In the field marked Name, give the sub-organization a name, such as City Police or Assessors. In the Features section, 
Enable GIS Configuration is checked by default. This means that any administrators created within this suborganization will be able to upload and configure GIS data. For more information on this idea, please watch the video entitled Connect Admin – Uploading, Configuring, and Managing GIS Data. You also have the ability to turn off expiration warnings that pop up when your account is about to expire. Below that, you can see the inactivity timeout for your newly created suborganization in minutes. If a user is inactive for a period of time beyond that limit, they will be required to sign in again. The date option will change how you view the image date. The starting location will determine the location that your users will see when they first log in to the interface. Perhaps you want to view the front of the courthouse. You could use the geocode search to type in the address of the courthouse, or if you know the latitude-longitude coordinates, you can type that information into the appropriate fields. Starting map layout allows you to choose either a pictometry image or a map view of the desired starting location. If you choose pictometry centric, you can set the starting zoom percentage, whether you want an oblique or ortho image as a shot type, either a neighborhood shot level, which is a higher resolution capture, or a community shot level, which has a larger footprint. And finally, the view direction or shot orientation of your starting location. If you choose map centric, you can select the starting zoom based on a scale of 1 to 13. With either option, you can set a search profile default for your users. This will be the first profile that appears in the search profile list on the interface. You may wish to revisit this default after you configure your own GIS data. When finished, be sure to hit save in the bottom right hand side of the screen to ensure all changes are kept. To manage your organizations, select the organization name you wish to make modifications to from the list on the left hand side of the screen. Your selection will become highlighted in blue. Now any changes made, such as creating users or uploading GIS data, will be done to the selected organization. To remove an organization, click on the wrench icon for the selected organization and then click Remove. If clicked unintentionally, you will have to click the wrench again to make the box disappear. If removing a suborganization, be sure to move or delete any users from that organization prior to removing it. Next, we will go through how to create a user and then how to manage users. First, select the organization from the left-hand column that you wish to add a user to. From the Administration menu, select Users and click on Manage All Users. This page will list all the users created for that selected organization. To create a new user, click New User. All the fields on this screen are required. Enter the user's email, which will be the username that they use to log in with. Failing to enter the proper format will result in a red error message directing you to enter a valid email address. Next, enter the first name and last name in the appropriate areas. Numbers are not permitted in these fields. The password must include one capital letter, one lowercase letter, one digit, and be between 6 and 20 characters long. If an incorrect password is given, a red error message will display to remind you of the required criteria. Under Type, select the type of user you wish to create. They may be a user or an administrator. Remember that an administrator will have the ability to add or remove users and upload and configure GIS data if enabled. The POL interface option will determine if the user logged into Pictometry Online has full or light access. While both require a dedicated, unique login, meaning that no one can log in with the same credentials at the same time, 
A full user will have access to GIS layers, annotation tools, and workspaces. A light user will only be able to search for a location and use the measurement tools. When finished, click Create to create the user. A message will indicate that it was a success. If an error occurs, it may be because the user's email is already in use within another organization. To edit a user, select that user by checking the box in the Select column next to the appropriate name, and then click Edit User to change any of their information. If a password needs to be reset for someone, there is a separate button for that toward the bottom. If a user is currently logged in, their status will read online in green text. If not currently logged in, the status will read idle in black text. If you need to log a user out, select the user and then click log out user from the menu of options above. To move a user or users to another organization, select the user or users and click Move. Select the organization you wish to move them to and click Move. Only a parent administrator can perform this function, as only a parent can view all the organizations within the account. To delete a user, select the user and click Delete. To disable or enable a user, Select the user, then click the button labeled More, then Disable to deactivate the user, or Enable to make them active. A disabled user will not be able to log in to any Connect applications. When they are enabled again, they will be able to use the same login credentials and have access to any previously saved workspaces. You can view a user's login history over the last 60 days. To do this, select the user or users, click More, and then select Login History. This will list the user's name and email along with the date and time that the user logged in and logged out. The number of users displayed on screen can be changed by changing the number of records per page. To quickly search for a user within an organization or sub-organization, click inside the search bar and begin typing that user's name or email. The list will automatically filter to those fitting the typed criteria. If you are a parent administrator, you will also see a search bar in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. This allows parent administrators to search for users throughout the parent and sub-organizations. This search option is not available for sub-organization administrators. To keep track of Connect usage, a report can be created to see which users have logged in to Connect and how often. Select Reports from the Administrative menu and click on General Usage Report. Select the date from which to start the report and the date to end the report. The report will generate based on the time frame selected. Select a desired report output type, such as PDF or CSV. Click View to display the report results within the page, or click Email to email the report directly to someone. If viewing the report directly on this page, we recommend only going back 30 days. Also from the Reports menu option, you can view who is currently logged in to Connect at that moment. Thank you for watching this training module. For more information on Connect Administration, please watch the video entitled Connect Admin, Uploading, Configuring, and Managing GIS Data.